Hello people of internet, it's me Aklam back here with another video for the Redmi Note 3. This time it's sort of a different, today I'm going to review and GSI ROM for the Redmi Note 3. Actually, you know, GSM means it's an sort of an image which supports on every trouble devices and uh, if you don't know how to make the uh, Redmi Note 3 support the Triple ROM, then I have a video on that and I will link to that video at the end of this video. So let me get into the intro of this, sorry, let me get into the review of this ROM, which is the Octopus ROM for the Redmi Note 3. Not for the Redmi Note 3, actually it's for the Triple devices and any device which supports the Triple will be able to support this phone. So let me go into system and give you a little bit of information about this one. So here we have the icon of the ROM which is the Octopus OS then let me give the Android versions and security patch versions. So the Android version is 9 obviously and the security patch is of the version uh, number 5th which is good. Now. Over this room, I am not going to talk about its features. No, I am not going to talk about the features that you can see on this room. No. Rather than that, I am going to talk about the GSI ROM bugs that you will be able to encounter on the Redmi Note 3. So what are sort of bugs that you can encounter with the uh, GSI ROMs on the Redmi Note 3? First I have to answer one question that is. Can you use a GSA ROM as a daily driver on your Redmi Note 3? Still, my answer is no. Because a lot of things are broken over here and the developers for the Redmi Note 3 are not actually making new trouble supported ROMs for the Redmi Note 3. Actually, there are sort of currently forgotten Redmi Note 3 on those aspects. I am currently still using the old restriction, unofficial restriction remix ROM which supports the trouble. They have to come forward and fix all those bugs so that we can, you know, enjoy the features of the trouble. So what are the broken things over here? Let me start with the Wi-Fi. If you tap on the Wi-Fi, it says that it is turning on but it goes on standing like that it won't turn on whatever you you do if you keep on pressing this nothing it just don't open the Wi-Fi menu it sometimes opens opens it it sometimes gives a bang, blank screen like this it's all broken as you can see it opened now so let me turn on from here still it is just going on running 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 just saying that the Wi-Fi is turning on so that's broken over here then the next thing the bluetooth the bluetooth have all the bugs that we, we feel on the wi-fi it is also like the wi-fi it also always stay like turning on the bluetooth if you keep on pressing it you can get into the bluetooth menu then if you pair on a new device it just says that no Bluetooth devices were found near us. Even if you turn on your Bluetooth device, it won't actually scan. At least, it won't even show you that it is scanning for a new device. So, all those are broken over here. Now, what's next? The next, the next thing is simple. You can't access your reason menu. Always the reason panel. Uh, I could be accessed on the Redmi Note 3 using this button, but here it is reset as an option button. Okay, then now you will say that keep on pressing it, nothing happens. Keep on pressing the home button, nothing happens. Keep on pressing the back button, nothing happens. So you can't access the bloody damn reason panels over here. And how we are supposed to use this as a daily driver. The Wi-Fi is broken, the Bluetooth is broken, and the reason panels are broken. All those are bugs. And about the connectivity, I don't know. Actually, I somehow lost my IMI number on the flashing process. And now I had to go back and redo all those process and try to get back my IMI number. So I won't actually suggest you to get into these trouble things now. Actually, there are a lot of bugs over here. You could actually destroy your device. I don't know how I can get back my IMI information into back into the phone. 
sure I will try that then uh, some of the features that I like about these rooms are simple like this the digital well-being and all it says that how much time did you spend your phone like uh, if you have used for your phone for 24 hours it will say that how many times did you unlock the phones how much time did you spend on all apps over the phone and all those things are how to reduce the interruptions are also present over here so those are the features that we see on the Android P and the Android P volume rockers are here I don't know who designed that volume rockers but I'm not a fan of this volume rocker I am a fan of the volume rockers that we saw on the Oreo and all now I don't know how I can get this device into the internet at the current moment because my IMI is closed and the Wi-Fi is broken so I can actually give you any sort of information over those process I will be surely getting back my IMI I know how to do that if you want I will be posting that one also I'm not actually thinking to post that one at the current moment if you want you should comment down below then I will be posting that video now do you still have the question that can you use this ROM as a daily driver if you still think so I have one more biggest bug of this there is no camera module the camera module on the Redmi Note 3 Triple ROM is completely absent. That means you can't access your camera whatever you do. You can't sideload it or anything like that. And thank you guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you know, you have to click that right uh, red subscribe button and like the video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.